I died in Oak Park also. My funeral was held in 1940 at Unity Temple. But my story began many years before that. It began in, in Europe. See, I was born in Budapest, in Hungary, in 1874. Let me ask a question to the group. How many of you have donated blood in the past? Look at all the hands. That's fantastic. That's near and dear to my heart. Because I have to say that my most lasting achievement was the startup of the first blood bank. Mm. And it was right here at Cook County Hospital back in 1937. Mm. I'm very proud of that. You see, before then, if you needed a transfusion, if you needed a medical surgery, what you would need is you'd need the presence of the actual donors right there to donate blood to you. If you can think about it today, major surgeries would be almost impossible. Well, unless you had a long line of people outside of the operating room door waiting to be called in for the next person. So it just didn't make sense. So I did first, I started calling my process the Blood Preservation Laboratory. But you know what? I thought of a much better name for it. I came up with the name the Blood Bank. Most of us know how blood, how regular banks operate, right? You need to make a deposit or a donation of blood long before the doctors could withdraw the blood to help the patients. Soon after this started, hospitals all over the country were starting their own blood banks. A few years after that, this process revolutionized the way that major surgeries were made. And a few years after that, it saved millions of lives of those heroes that fought for us and were injured during World War II. Now the Cook County Hospital Blood, Blood Donation Bank right now, it <coughs> operated back then, it needed volunteers, of course, to donate the blood. And that process is still works today. So it is also in need of people donating their blood for the process to continue working. Now I, I don't like to brag, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I will say that some of the other things that I will be remembered for also is the perfection of the process of candy coating pills and adding flavorings to medications that were intended for children's use. I also did some early research in the area of hay fever and convinced the city of Chicago to remove the ragweed from all over the city. Now the other honor I had bestowed upon me after my passing was the naming of the Fantas Health Center, which is located right now near Cook County Hospital and it currently houses 99 outpatient clinics that are helping people all over the city today. I'm very proud of that. Now I am just one of many medical heroes and men that were brought up in these west suburban suburbs. Many of us probably know the name um, Dr. Percy Julian. He was a famous chemist that developed such drugs as cortisone and birth control pills. There was also Dr. Willis Potts who they also named the Blue Baby Doctor. He was named that because he developed a surgery for babies that were oxygen deficient. Now back in the turn of the century, there was also Dr. James Herrick, who, he was the first person to identify coronary thrombrosis in an actual living person. He also was a pioneer in the field of identifying sickle cell anemia. And last but not least, we can't forget Dr. Joseph Kerwin, who graduated from Fenwick High School, who was the first medical doctor in space. So thank you all for coming out today. Don't forget to please donate blood if you can, because there is always a need. Thank you so much.